from ceding territory to no NATO promise. Trump says formula a boon for Russia. Politico reveals insider plan over NATO expansion. Former US President Donald Trump, who is likely set to challenge the incumbent Joe Biden in the upcoming November election, is reportedly now considering a significant shift in NATO policy and a potential deal with Russia regarding the Ukraine war. This information comes from a Politico article citing anonymous sources close to Trump. The proposed deal could involve a commitment from NATO to halt eastward expansion, particularly into Ukraine and Georgia. In exchange, negotiations with Russian President Vladimir Putin might also occur over the Ukrainian territory currently under the Russian control. This approach marks a departure from the current Biden's stance and can reshape the geopolitical landscape in Eastern Europe. Trump says potential NATO overhaul extends over Ukraine. He reportedly also aims to increase European members' responsibilities within the alliance. For instance, country not meeting the 2% GDP military spending target might see a reduced U.S. support. The shift reflects a broader strategy to reallocate U.S. military resources with a particular focus on addressing the perceived greater threat from China. The plan envisions European allies taking on more ground military base roles while the U.S. maintains the air and naval bases. However, concern exists about the Europe's readiness for such expanded military responsibilities, especially given the current economic challenges and the energy dependencies. On the report, the Ukrainian President Vladimir Putin has responded with skepticism. While acknowledging the desire for a swift end to the war, Zelensky opposes any plan involving territorial concessions to Russia. He argues that such concession will not lead to a lasting peace and emphasizes the need for Ukraine to receive security guarantees, including a potential NATO membership. Zelensky's stance highlights the complex nature of the war and differing perspective on its resolution. He stresses that simply appeasing Putin will not solve the underlying issues and can potentially embolden further aggression. It's also important to note that these reports are based on anonymous sources and speculation. However, Trump's statement, like he will end the war within 24 hours, makes sense on these reports too. Trump's campaign has not officially commented on these plans. Even the former officials like Richard Grenell have cautioned against attributing these ideas directly to Trump. The discussion around these potential policies highlights the ongoing debate about the future of NATO, US foreign policy and the resolution of the Ukraine war. Subscribe to One India channel and never miss an update.